Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Armbian on Orange Pi PC Plus's internal storage, also known as eMMC. Note that this will only work on boards that have eMMC. Let's kick things off by downloading the latest Armbian image. You can either use a server image or the desktop one. For this video I'll be using the desktop one, but either one of them will work just fine. The link to everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. After downloading the image, extract it. Then, you'll need a program called SD Formatter. Once again, go ahead and download and extract it. After doing that, open it and insert your SD card. Now you could just click on Format, but I highly recommend you go to Options and change Format Type from Quick to Full Override. It will take much longer, but oftentimes it solved my problems and saved me from a lot of hassle. After changing that, click on OK and then click on Format. Now that that's done, you'll need to download Win32 Disk Imager. After installing it, open it and click on the blue folder icon and head over to where you extracted the Armbian image and open it. Then click on Write. When that's done, go ahead and take out your SD card and insert it into your Orange Pi and power the board. After a few seconds, it will ask for a username. At this point, type in root and the password is 1234. Type in 1234 once again. Now, you need to enter a new password. I'm just going to use orange byte, but it can be anything. Now, type in your new password once again. Now, it will ask you to provide a username. I'm just going to use my name. Now, type in new password. Then, retype it. It will ask you to enter your personal information, but I'm just going to leave it blank and press enter. Then, press Y and press enter. You can change your screen resolution, but I decided to do it later. After a few seconds, you should see a desktop. Now go ahead and open terminal. Then type in sudo space nand sata install and after that type in your password. Then you should see a blue screen. Choose boot from eMMC and press OK. Then it will warn you that it will erase everything on the MMC. We're going to say yes and after that it should start writing everything to the MMC. The entire process took around 15 minutes for me but it will be much shorter if you're going to use a server image. When it's done it will ask you whether you want to power off the board or exit. We're going to power off. After it's completely turned off take out the SD card and repower the board. And that's pretty much it, as you can see it has booted from the MMC. If you would like to see how you can do the same thing except with Android, then click here. Please leave feedback and get subscribed, it will help me out a ton. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.